is the definition of conflict? According to Oxford Dictionary, conflict is defined as a serious disagreement, an armed struggle, or a difference in opinion. Namaste, my name is Aisha Khan. Where there are people, there is conflict. Left unchecked, conflict can lead to serious disagreements, outright disputes, bullying or harassment. What is conflict like for you? Conflict can often be described as a volcano that is about to erupt, a hurricane, or like slow dancing barefoot on broken shards of glass. If it's like trying to hold back the ocean with a broom, I would imagine that feels frustrating and futile. So what do you do when the waves just keep on coming? Because conflict washes ashore in all our relationships, whether it's our work with friends in school. Conflict is a wide subject. So today, let me take you through the common types of conflict us children face in our day-to-day -day lives. It is no secret that conflict can arise in any setting where people are present. This especially for children who are still effectively learning how to communicate and understand one another. First, there is classroom conflict. This happens when students, don't, uh, students argue and don't get along. This can make learning hard for everyone. Some examples of classroom conflict are one student repeatedly interrupts another while other is trying to speak. Or a group of students regularly exclude one student from their daily from their activities or students argue over the same topic when a new student named Maisha joined school without even interacting with her or knowing her we started not involving her in our group she was kind to us she used to share us stationery and even her snacks she was really good with numbers and maths our teacher saw what we were doing. So for one class activity, she put Maisha in our group. When we, Maisha took initiative when we were stuck on a question and solved it. And being, and she, being kind she was, when the teacher asked who solved the problem, Maisha said the whole group solved it together. We realized how badly we were treating Maisha. So from that day onwards, we all are best friends. Let's talk about sibling conflict. Sibling conflict is when brothers and sisters fight over toys, attention from parents because they're annoyed of each other or even just for fun. Though myself a single child, among my cousins and friends, I have often noticed sibling conflict over sharing toys, who will get control over the TV remote and even who will get, con who will get more attention from parents. <coughs> I'd like to narrate a story I read about sibling conflict named Maple and Willow together. Maple and her little sister Willow were always together. It was hard to remember a time they weren't. Their, their parents even thought they both had a secret language. And in a way, they did. On sunny days, they would collect hard rocks, build fairy houses, and even catch grasshoppers. One day, Maple decided to collect dandelions but Willow wanted to blow them uh, blow them through the wind. Willow told something to Maple that hurt her and Maple took her anger out on Willow's toys and Willow took her anger out on Maple. Neither sisters wanted to be together again. They were both separated and sent to their own rooms but then they got bored. So they both met again and they were back to collecting dandelions. But this time, they both made wishes and blew them to the wind. Next is parent-child conflict. Parent-child conflict is when parents, kids and their parents argue and don't get along. This can, happens when, this can happen when parents tell their chil uh, children what to do and their kids don't like it. My parents have allotted a time for me to watch TV or play video games. And sometimes when I exceeded, they, they shout at me, take away my laptop or TV remote. I get really frustrated when they do that. So I gave it a thought and tried to understand through my parents' perspective and concluded they were, that they want me to do some, 
some productive activities with my time like swimming reading or playing with my friends which i also enjoy and last do not forget about fr- uh, conflict with friends this can be tough because friends are important to us but sometimes we disagree or feel jealous and that can cause a problem two friends let me call them maya and sam had a, a conflict you see maya borrowed sam's favorite book without asking him sam was uh, upset and didn't understand why maya didn't think to ask him so when she, when he asked about it he got defensive i was eager to end the conflict going between my best friends so i decided to make them talk about it they both agreed and sam listened to maya and concluded that maya didn't mean to hurt him she was just excited to read the uh, read the book they both decided they should communicate better in the future from this story maya and sam showed us that conflict can be resolved through open and honest communication listening to others apologizing when necessary and working together to find a solution today i want to put forward a different angle of conflict what if conflict is not a problem what if it's a solution what if it's not negative but full of beauty can we for once look at conflict differently it has the power to transform our relationship and the world around us it can be difficult though to create that change no matter how negative you think about conflict right now but believe me it is possible to change that it takes three keys in order to do that the first key is recognizing what the conflict is really about the second key is recognizing where you're stuck and the third key is unlocking the beautiful transformative power of conflict now talking about how you can be responsible in conflict and how you can create the change you want first understand what the conflict is really about and listen to others next find work together to find a solution but remember to set some rules and boundaries so they know so everybody knows what's okay and what's not when you talk to someone about the conflict try to stay calm and not to get angry showing empathy or understanding how someone really f- feels is important is very important and finally don't be afraid of criticism sometimes it can be difficult to hear what the other person has to say we should not see conflict as negative it is a doorway of opportunity it is the first ray of light after a dark night So what do you want it to be for you? Thank you.